are not another retrospective. You're thick in the middle of your work when your scrum master reminds you, hey Lynn, don't forget, we're meeting in 10 minutes for a retrospective. What? You think, those meetings are so useless. It's really important that the whole team buys into the why behind the retrospective. Why do we spend time each iteration talking about improvement? It's because retrospectives are the fuel behind high performing teams. The most important thing about retrospectives is to ensure the team buys into them. And the best way to do that is to make improvements visible. Ensure that all the improvements that the team has prioritized are visible and are celebrated when they complete them. A great way to do this is to include all of your improvement items in the backlog so it becomes visible, it becomes something the team prioritizes and spends time to do. Retrospectives deepen relations within the team, between people on the team, between the scrum master and team members, and between the team members and their stakeholders. As a scrum master, project manager, or team lead, make sure that you're there for them. Stay away from checklist agile or doing the retro just because you have to, and make it useful, make it valuable for the team. When running a retrospective, vary the technique you use. Try different approaches, not the same old, what went well, what can be improved format. Your role as a scrum master or team lead is to focus on creating a psychologically safe environment so that you ensure that you can all talk about the stinky fish. Establish a strong team charter to clarify team expectations of each other, their expectations of the people who define what they work on, and from you, their scrum master, project manager, or team lead. This is also a great way to establish psychological safety from the start of team building. And finally, have fun. Retrospectives are meant to be for the team, by the team, and a fun activity to close out the sprint. So inject some fun into your retrospectives. If you have any questions about this or any of the other videos in our channel, feel free to contact us at deliveramazing at Thank you.